and pray. Very insightful analysis, very in-depth. Well, Alan, from all my many, many years of basketball experience and announcing, I'd say the faculty doesn't have a shot. Well, unfortunately, I, I think you're right, but there's, remember, the nice thing about miracles is that they still occur. That's right, when, when you least expect them. You know who said that? Who said that? I think Alan some guy, Raleigh. no, some G. Chesterin. I'm not sure, but what the heck. Okay, you're a literature major. All right, back down to the floor. We've got those players out there already. They don't need much time to warm up. We've got uh, number 40 out there for the girls. Paula Hunsicker, number 43, Jennifer Campbell. Number 20, Melissa Buttry. Number 50, Lisa Van Miller. And number 33, Mary Jean Polly. And for the women, we've got Marigold Taylor out there. Number 11, uh, Mrs. Amy Drescher. Number 20, Mrs. Mary Ellen Collier. They've got the starting lineup back in there, most of them. Also have Mrs. Millman going to go up for the tap and Mrs. Zabrowski in there. Oh, Millman loses the tap that time to Hunsaker. Slaps it out to Campbell. Campbell misses the layup. They fight for the rebound, but have a foul call. Looks like over the top on Mrs. Collier to me. Jeff, I just wanted to say that during the halftime break, the faculty has uh, regrouped. They said they were only toying with them during the first <laughs> half. They're going to come back with their airtight defense for the entire second period. It's good that, that insight was brought to you by Tony Koya, Director of Communications of the Norris Tanneria School District and the man with the inside information on this ball game. If anybody knows, Koya does. That's what they say at Norristown. It's probably true at Stewart as well. Okay, we have 6.17 left to go. It's still 20 to 2. Campbell <laughs> over to Hunsaker. Up, oh, bounces around, won't go. Rebound by Taylor. Collier fights for it. Well, that's a little bit of a double dribble, but we, we won't call it from up here. She forgot what basket she had to go to. That was the problem. <laughs> Collier takes it coast to coast. Puts the shot up, won't go. Rebound by Taylor. Back at the Drescher. Drescher with a long shot. Oh, off the rim, won't go. Rebound by Polly. Polly's got a five on none. Taylor, oh, she heard footsteps, did Polly. <laughs> Millman comes away with it, but Taylor picks the ball up. Who is Taylor? I don't know. Millman in the lane. She's got the shot. Oh, off the front of the rim. Almost had two. Zabrowski's got it. Taylor almost lost her head that time. <laughs> Rebound by Polly. Two on one. Drescher getting back on defense. The shot by Polly won't go. Rebound by Van Miller. Van Miller's shot is good, and it's 22 to 2. Substitutions, mass substitutions. Oh, boy, this is great, isn't it? We've got Gene Munyon, number 21. Number 25, Chris Munyon. Number 32, Suzanne Stasek. Number 12, Amy Hennessy. And number 52, Tora Beatty. Same five players in there for the female faculty. Collier puts the shot up. Oh, almost went off the back of the rim. Millman in the key, daring the girls to come out and defend her, and she misses the shot anyway. <laughs> they save the ball. It comes to Munyon. She's got Hennessy. Hennessy waits for it, picks the ball up. That's number 32 on the side. Oh, Munyon misses the shot. Rather, Hennessy misses the shot. Outlet pass to Drescher. Drescher's got Collier on the left side. She's just going to hold it up, though, as uh, Stewart girls get back on defense. Taylor, oh, the Globetrotter moved to the lane. Out to Zabrowski on the right side. Ball stolen by Stewart. Back by Drescher. Millman. Millman's got the shot. She's taking a lot of shots. She must be over 12 right now. Okay, it's Chris Munyon with the outlet pass. All the way down. Taylor, oh, she heard footsteps, but she makes the basket anyway. It's 24 to 2. This is a torrid pace. All right, substitutions for the faculty parents. We have Mrs. Campbell and Mrs. Buttrey back in. Mrs. Carol Avant and Mrs. Carol Ertle in there. And it looks like uh, Taylor's going to go all the way for the female faculty. Uh, I haven't heard that phrase either. Avant's got the ball. Takes it herself. Oh, what form? Off the glass, well, off the board. I keep saying the glass, it's not glass. Mrs. Campbell with a basket for the girls. It's comeback city, folks, with three minutes left to go. That was a four-point basket, too. You didn't know about that, but new rules here. Ah, that's right, it was four points. 
<laughs> Shot, and, and Campbell pulls down the rebound, gonna have a jump ball maybe? It was, that time it was Tara Beatty and Mrs. Campbell fighting for it. And they had two. Campbell wins the tap at the Avant, Avant on the fast break. They're gonna let her take it in herself. She pulls up, looking for some help, back out to Ertl. Ertl with that set shot, oh, off the rim, won't go. Rebound by Mrs. Buttry. Buttry still going with the ball. She's got a lot of style. Oh, she missed the shot. Oh, she put it up, Ertl strong on the inside, no. Taylor with another board, Avant with the shot, no. Campbell with the rebound, no. Rebound by Beatty. What a flurry of shots by the female faculty. They just couldn't come through with the basket, Al. Okay, you're not gonna touch that one either. The girl's coming back the other way. Oh, it's it's oh it's defense time. Carol Odo's playing some tough D. Flip pass goes over to Amy Hennessy. Hennessy being guarded by Taylor. We've only got two minutes left to go in the game. Beatty tries to force her way down the middle. Ball's knocked out of bounds. It's gonna be faculty ball. Okay, mass substitutions again. Back into the ball game, Kelly Logan. We've got number 33, Mary Jean Polly. Number 14 is Sheila Strickland. Number 40, Paula Hunsiger. And number 30, the girl with six points. She whipped off those points at the end of the first period, Barbara Hartshaw. Ball comes into Polly. She better get the right basket. Oh, Taylor with the steal. Ertl cherry picking down there. Ertl's gonna have the easy basket, and she makes it. Is it gonna be another? That's another four point basket, it looks like. Yep, another four point basket. Make the score 24 to 10. Avant pressuring the inbounds pass, but it comes to Kelly Logan. Ball stolen by Avant, but Mary Jean Polly gets it back. Lob pass down low to Camp. No, no. Lob pass was down to Paula Hunsiker. Her shot won't go off the bottom of the board. Timeout called by team leader Marigold Taylor. More substitutions, okay. Back into the ball game, we have Mrs. Bumbry, Ms. Cole, Mrs. Ziegler. Mrs. Rissinger, and uh oh, wait a minute, we've got a teacher, a teacher down on the court, that's Mrs. Ziegler, and here comes Connolly and Johnson out to tend to her. They've got the blood pressure cuff. We'll see if she's all right. It looks like they're doing some kind of artificial respiration, and they're taking her off on that imaginary stretcher. That's what you like to have a crack medical staff on hand for all of these ball games. And that's Kathy Taylor out there as well. <laughs> Taylor being pressured over the other Taylor. Down to Rissinger. Oh, pulls up, gives it back to Taylor outside to Coles. Coles has that jumper. Oh, won't go for a rebound by who's that? Who's that, Al? Is that Taylor? Taylor to Taylor to Rissinger. Oh, inside, won't go for a rebound by Taylor. And Taylor has controlled the boards, but to no avail for the female faculty. Mrs. Bumbry. She's got the jumper, won't go for her though. Taylor back at the Bumbry. Bumbry again misses. Cole and Taylor fight for the rebound. Taylor brings it back outside. Marva Cole with the shot. There's another basket for the faculty. With 51 seconds left in the game, another four point basket, it's 24-14. Comeback time. Little pressure being applied, they've got 43 seconds. Kelly Logan, inbounds, Hunsaker. Hunsaker off the glass, won't go. Shot up again, oh, rolls around, won't go for it. Rebound by Logan. Logan with the shot, oh, air ball. Saved, but into Mrs. Bumbry. Taylor out the cold, no, wrong basket. And she makes it, she makes it for the wrong team. <laughs> the, clock, <laughs> the clock is still running, and Mrs. Cole, Ms. Cole just made a basket for the girls, and that was the best shot of the day. We've got 15 seconds left in the game, and it's 26, that's right. Give Cole two points for the faculty, two points for the girls. They roll the inbounds pass up to Mrs. Bumbry across the timeline, clock running now, 24-16. Oh, they took those two points away. Oh, I don't know about that call. They gave them to the faculty. Taylor takes the shot away. Out the Bumbry with time running out, off the glass. And that's the end of the ball game. And what a game it was. Final score, 24. Okay, we're ready to play here. We've already introduced the uh, JV fellows for you earlier. We'll give them to you, of course, when they come onto the court. Well, let's meet the faculty. The first player, Mr. Joe Howe. Principal here at Stewart and the first player to be introduced. 
Well, he's obviously a well-loved principal. You can hear the fan reaction here. They're all for him. Okay, Hal's going to be number 21. <laughs> Second player here. Has also been given the nickname because of what he has to do. A lot of the times they call him the boot. Mr. John Sweeney. Mr. John Sweeney, the boot. Must be disciplinarian here. Vice principal, perhaps. <laughs> Next. Mr. Sweeney, get his number. And you gentlemen and the boys Number three, Mr. Sweeney is. Today because Mr. Frank the Hammer Moister is out to get you. And we have Mr. Moister in the red jersey. <laughs> a little bit of a prat fall there. We have designated a special position today for this next player. Ordinarily, a basketball team does not have this position, but we have today a left guard wearing right, wearing right guard, our own John Riggins of the basketball court, Mr. Sam Slick. Okay, Mr. Sam Slick, number 26 out there. So, uh, I guess we could say that was a slick jumper and that was a slick shot and stuff like that without being uh, really cliche bound. In Stewart history, walking on one good leg and one bad knee, Mr. John Meisner. Mr. John Meisner playing in the blue outfit. I heard from the other teachers that the next player is not real big, but he is quick. They call him the cat, Mr. Jerry Slater. Okay, we also have out there number two, Jerry Slater. The next player that we have today We were going to have Moses Malone drop by, but we had to take his his uh, his second best person, number twelve. Is that what your number? Number nineteen. Where is also I have number nineteen. I swear it's the girls' coach, number nineteen, Barry Stock. The man is an animal on the court. I cannot wait for game time. Okay, let's all get quiet. We have one additional introduction. Can we all get quiet? Every year, I have the great pleasure to announce the next person. This person began his basketball career in Camden, New Jersey, playing with he grew up in Camden, New Jersey, playing on the little basketball courts. He wasn't big. He was fast. And all the other kids around him, because they were of the same color, they called him White Lightning Scott Hillman. Scott Hillman, number one, the last player to be introduced for the Stewart faculty. And uh, Alan... Before the ball game, we learned from our scorekeeper, Mr. Ray Payne, that the faculty has lost one time in the history of this contest, and that was about 20 years ago. So there's a long tradition here for the faculty to uphold. Well, there are a bunch of KG veterans, and I'm sure all that experience they've acquired over the years is going to be really their strongest asset going against this young rookie team here. Okay, we're out there for starting for Stewart. We're going to have number 24, yes. uh, <laughs> Derek Williams. Number 35, it looks like. Make that number 15, excuse me, Rowan Watson. Number 14, Milton Hinton. Number 30, Lafayette Hill. And number 52, Mike Serini. Out there, jump for Stewart. We're going to have Barry Stock, number 19. Also going to have that there. Okay, Hill almost wins the tap. They get it away to Joe Hal. Hal over to uh, number three, John Sweeney. Sweeney with the jumper. Won't go for him. Rebound by Derek Hill. They fight for it. 
Outlet pass up to Milton Hitton. Hitton takes the ball up. Shot is partially blocked. Knocked out of bounds. Saved by Mike Serini. Serini with the turnaround. Ball's pulled down by number one, Scott Hillman. So it's Hillman, Sweeney, Hal, Stock, and Moister out there. Hillman over to Sweeney. Sweeney with a shot. First two points of the ball game, and it's the faculty with a 2-0 lead. Hitton and Watson. Watson looking somewhere inside, goes over to Hitton. Hitton from the, from the corner. Hitton with a jumper, so it's a tie ball game. And now it looks like this game's going to be a lot more closely matched than that girls game we saw. Sweeney zips that pass down to Hal, lob pass into Barry Stock, puts the ball on the ground, and he's fouled. And we have officials for this ball game. Hey, this is no Ricky Dick organization. We have, looks like PIAA officials out there. All right. Stock from the line, makes the basket. Pardon me, misses the shot. And those are actual PIA officials. I knew we recognized those gentlemen from the varsity basketball games, which we do for Norristown High. Stock, 0 for 2 from the line, but Moister pulls the rebound down over to Sweeney. Sweeney with the shot from the outside, won't go, gets his own board. Puts Lafayette Hill up in the air, makes the shot. Nope, no good for him. Rebound by Barry Stock. The basket is good. And the officials today, ball game, uh, Bill Markley and Carl Troila. I'd like to thank them for coming out to do this ball game. Derek Williams from the outside won't go. Rebound by Stock. Stock needs some help here out to Sweeney. Nope. Elbow called against uh, Barry Stock, so back the other way. In the hitting. Moister takes that rebound. <laughs> Scott Hillman for the faculty. Hillman needs some help here. He goes over to Sweeney. It's a two, four to two ball game. Faculty ahead. Hillman with the outside shot. Won't go. Rebound. Taken by Stock. Over to Hillman. Hillman with a turnaround from the baseline. Nope, won't go. Rebound by Derek Williams. Williams up court, drives right by Hillman. All the way at himself, puts the shot up. He's fouled by John Sweeney. So Williams will go to the line, shooting two. And we saw Derek Williams earlier this year in a ball game against East Norton Middle School. And uh, he's a fine player. He and uh, Carl Fisher, I believe, is for East Norton were the two uh, outstanding players in that ball game. I think one of the factors uh, involving Stewart's loss was the fact that Williams fouled out of the ball game with two minutes to go and the game went into overtime. And he misses the first free throw attempt. 0 for 2 from the line. They fight for the rebound. It's going to be a foul called on Moister, I believe, of the faculty. Serini with the inbounds pass, knocked away by Moister. Up, oh, inbounds pass is taken by the faculty. Joe Howell outlet to Scott Hillman. Hillman will bring the ball up court for the men. Hillman, number one, little head fake, lob pass. They go for the alley oop to Barry Scott, the hook shot. Kareem Abdul Jabbar almost with the shot. Trying for a three point play. The basket is good. Barry Scott will go to the line. And uh, the faculty has hopped out to a 6 2 lead. Perhaps trying to avenge something for their female counterparts who were demolished by the girls' team here at Stewart. They missed the shot, but Joe Hal, principal here at Stewart, comes off the rebound to make it a four point play as Hal makes the basket. They fight for the rebound. Gonna have a foul called. Barry Stock is crawling around on the floor, but I think he's all right. It's gonna be Derek Williams and Stock going up for uh, a jump ball. And Williams wins the tap. Over to Milton Hinton, drops it off to Lafayette Hill. Hill shot in and out, rebound by Stock. Over to John Sweeney. Sweeney, defense very quickly back for the Stewart boys. Zips one down to Hillman. Hillman in the corner. Back outside to Hal. Hillman, Hillman's gonna look for that jumper. There it is, off the glass, won't go for him. Derek Williams with a strong rebound for the boys. He's got Hinton on his left side. Scott comes away with the rebound. He's got a two on two. He's got Frank Moister in front of him. Scott takes it himself. Shot won't go, rebound by Williams. 
Here they come, 5-1-2, good pass over to Lafayette Hill. Hill pulls up for the shot, off the glass won't go. Williams taps, Frank Moister comes away with it for the faculty. <laughs> Outlet pass down to John Sweeney. Sweeney with the pick. The shot is good for Sweeney. Substitutions into the ballgame, number 13, Brad Urich. Number 23, Jim Scott. Number 50, Ronald Smith. Number 22, Forrest Davis. And number 50, well, we already got hit. Number 21, Curtis Rochette's the other player in there. And uh, Jerry Slater into the ballgame now for the faculty. Rochette with the ball on the right side, right down here in front of us. Stolen away by Hill. Slater's got it. Now let the Hillman. Hillman's got it all himself. Back on defense come the boys. Slater knocks that board around and taken by Hillman. Hillman with the jumper. No, off mark. Rebound taken by Jim Scott. Scott and Rochette. It's going to be Rochette bringing the ball up court for the Stewart boys. Forrest Davis being guarded by Scott Hillman. Not too close to the other. Teacher spot dropped back into his own defense. Foul call on Frank Moister fighting for that loose ball. We've got 150 left here in the first period. They go inside. Ball's taken away by Hillman. He slows the pace down as uh, Stewart gets back quickly on defense. Lob pass into Barry Stock. Nice play by Slater. Shot by Stock. It's no good, but he'll go to the line again. Ronald Smith called for the foul. Barry Stock is having a horrendous time at the line today. He's, uh, he's made uh, four attempts now. He's 0 for 4, and he makes one. Finally, 1 for 5 is Barry Stock. Basket's good. It's 8-2 faculty. So it's Yorick and Davis. Try to go inside. Hillman with the easy steal. On the right side, he's going to take it up against Forrest Davis. Nice layup that time by Scott Hillman. And Hillman's got two points now in this ball game. It's 12-2, and the faculty is really crushing out here on these Stewart boys. Over to Jim Scott. Back out to Davis. Davis puts the shot up with five minutes and five seconds left to go here in the first period. Foul call on Jerry Slater. Rochette into Davis, Davis with the jumper. Oh, nice shot that time by Forrest Davis, right through the bottom of the net. So it's 12-4, we're under a minute here in the first quarter, 55 seconds left. Steal by Davis, Slater gets back on it. Oh, almost a travel, he's got Howe. Howe in the corner, shot is up by Howe, won't go, rebound by Moister, Moister off the glass, no. Curtis Rochette comes up with it. Rochette hustles the ball down court, pass Slater. Reaching in foul, going to be called against Joe Howell, principal of Stewart Middle School. Rochette will bring the ball in with 35 seconds left. Joe Howell takes it away, though, as Jerry Slater tipped that ball away. Slater from way outside off the side of the rim won't go. Moister with an off-balance shot won't go. Stock off the board, and this time it's good for the faculty. And Stock has seven points, even though he's failed to convert four out of five times from the free throw line. 12 seconds left here. Joe Howe comes away with a uh, missed pass that time. Eight seconds, seven seconds. Scott Hillman's got the ball up court. Four seconds. Moister with a reverse layup won't go. Rashid's got the ball. End of the first period. Oh! That was a more than half-court shot. Wouldn't have been any good anyway for Curtis Rochette, but it almost went in. And after one quarter of play, Allen, 14-4, the faculty really rushing out to an early lead.